In the mid-1700s, an increasing number of Europeans began exploring and settling the area we now know as California. Their arrival would forever change the lives of many Indian groups who had been living in the region for thousands of years on expeditions or journeys made for a special purpose. They were interested in settling the region known as California. Spain's plan was simple. The Spanish government sent soldiers and priests to California to establish a series of military forts called presidios and missions. A mission is a settlement set up by a religious group to teach religion and other ways of life to native people. In turn, presidios and missions would help Spain form colonies. A colony is a settlement of people who come from one country to live in another land. In 1768, a Spanish soldier named Gaspar de Portola came to California to run Spain's colony there. He led an expedition to explore the area near present-day Monterrey. Later, in 1775, Captain Juan Bautista de Anza led another expedition. He brought settlers to the area that is now San Francisco. They came from all over for the same reasons they come now for social, political, religious reasons, economic reasons. They came and moved into California. And um, they, they used the environment, they used the resources to, to live life the way they wanted to. Accompanying De Portola on his 1769 expedition were two Spanish missionary priests. A missionary is a person who teaches his or her religion to people who have different beliefs. Their names were Father Junipero Serra and Father Juan Crespi. As a young boy, Father Serra decided to become a Franciscan priest in the Catholic Church. He was fascinated by stories of missionaries traveling to faraway places and spreading their beliefs. In 1749, he left Spain and began his career. He spent several years in Mexico and then set up missions in North America, including San Diego de Alcalá, which was built in 1769, and Mission San Juan Capistrano, which was officially dedicated in 1776. The missionaries wanted the California Indians to live on the missions, in part to serve as laborers. Missionaries could teach them to farm and make crafts. The missionaries also wanted to teach them Spanish and to convert them to Catholicism, which is the religion of the Catholic Church. But as the Spanish came in, the way of life changed. Um, they introduced farming, they introduced um, agriculture along with, you know, the, the dairy farm, but meat and, and poultry and, and a variety of other things that the American Indians were not used to here. Uh, and it, it did indeed change their life. Um, they were encouraged <laughs> to take on a different religion, a different belief system, a different language. Uh, it, it affected their life in every single area of it. However, problems soon arose. The California Indians who came to the missions were not always allowed to leave. The Europeans had also unknowingly brought diseases such as measles and smallpox with them. The California Indians had no resistance to these diseases. As a result, thousands of California Indians died. Some California Indians resisted the mission system. For example, the mission at San Diego was destroyed in 1775. It was rebuilt in 1780. However, the mission system continued in California until 1833. By then, the number of California Indians had fallen to about 150,000. Many had died from diseases that swept through the mission's overcrowded quarters. Today, many missions still stand as a reminder of the Spanish settlers who first came to California and the California Indians with whom they interacted.